Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome to Guns N' Roses Central and I have a story to share with you guys. This was something I never even heard of before until one of my awesome subscribers Ashley sent me the link to the story. So this one dates back all the way to the year 2000 and I had never heard this story before but I want to give a big shout out to Justin. He's the one who linked this article uh, to me and I've also provided a sample of the song too if you guys want to check it out the link is in the description box so apparently back in 2000 Guns N' Roses was sued over the song Don't Cry so there was this songwriter named Bobby Martin who said the song is a substan substantially similar to a tune that he wrote in 1978 so it took nearly nine years for Bobby Martin to hear Guns N' Roses uh, don't cry as you guys know the song came out in 1991 it was on both user illusion 1 and user illusion 2 depending on whether you're listening to the alternate version or the original version so martin claimed in his lawsuit that the song don't cry contains musical portions identical or substantially similar to the instrumental version of a song that martin wrote in 1978 t titled Ensaname Ace Amar, basically meaning Show Me How to Love, which was included on an album of the same name. Now, Martin says his album was a number one hit in Puerto Rico and many Central American and South American countries, as well as Latino gospel markets in the United States. Martin was 50 when he filed the lawsuit in Southern District of Indiana, and he said he's owed at least $11.5 million in profits from the song, not counting royalties and any future earnings from the song. Also listed at that time as defendants were Geffen Records, Universal Music Group, both based in California, and uh, Guns N' Roses members Axel Slash, Duff, and Izzy are also named in the suit. Now, if you guys have uh, been tr keeping track of the history of Don't Cry, you would have known that Axel has said a number of times it was the first song that the band had ever written, so it probably originated around 1984 and 1985. Now, Martin said the attorneys representing the defendants have begun negotiating a settlement, so eventually this lawsuit was settled out of court. Now, that could mean a number of things. It could mean that, you know, they didn't want to go to trial and spend all the money on lawyers' fees, so probably the amount that Martin originally wanted, he there's no way in hell he probably got what he wanted in the end. He probably was paid off with a little bit of money and basically went away. Now, despite the fact that Don't Cry garnered major airplay in the United States, Martin said it took him years to hear the song because he listens to a different genre of music. It wasn't until two months ago, referring back to the year 2000, when Martin was producing a 19-year-old Princeton guitarist, Gabriel Wheatley, that Martin became aware of the song. So basically, Wheatley listened to Martin's song and thought he had heard the music in the song before, and basically he played Martin uh, Don't Cry, who said, it's, it, it's my chorus, I've got to see my eternity, I've got to see my attorney. And basically Martin said he never followed hard rock, he just doesn't care for it, noting that he heard Guns N' Roses because, he heard of Guns N' Roses because of their notoriety. He said the following about Guns N' Roses, he said, I thought they were obnoxious, and he said they haven't had a very good reputation in the industry. Martin did, however, say he does like the song Don't Cry. He said, I'm very happy with what they did with Don't Cry. Guns N' Roses did a good job with that song, and I've got to give them credit for that. But I do want to get paid for what is rightfully mine, and I will. So Martin claimed that 65% of Don't Cry contains his work from his song, and he said he'll settle for 50%. He said the choruses are identical. The guitar licks and solos start at the same time and end at the same time. And Martin said the length of the song would also be identical as well if it wasn't for the long wail by Rose at the end of Don't Cry. He said the music and the structure are identical and he said because of the chorus Don't Cry also appeared in the end of another Guns N' Roses song November Rain, Martin is also trying to recoup royalties to that song which he said is 3% of his. He said now I don't really understand that part when he says that because the chorus of Don't Cry also appeared at the end of November Rain I don't really hear that but what I've done is I've linked to Don't Cry down below guys as well as Martin's song you guys can listen to it, and yeah, I didn't really hear the similarities. There was maybe a little bit of similarity, but overall, I really hope that he got nothing in the end, or he basically they paid him 50 grand and he went away. Now, uh, I want to know from you guys, do you think the songs sound identical? Do you think Martin had a case back then? And had you ever heard this story before? Uh, this was certainly the first time I had ever heard it. So let me know in the comment section below, guys. I hope you guys learned something new today. I certainly did. As always, guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel for all things related to Guns N' Roses. And be sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook. The links to my social media icons are down below. And you guys can also uh, like my video if you guys enjoyed what you saw. Please support my channel that way. So take care, guys, and have yourself a good day.